and Scott Payne had form. By 1931, he'd already won the Schneider Trophy three times with his Supermarine S5 and S6. And as for fast boats, he'd founded the British Powerboat Company in 1927, designing and building Miss England 2 and Miss Britain 3. This broke all the records as the first single-engined craft to exceed 110 miles an hour on water. These engineering achievements would prove vital in the coming war with Germany. Scott Payne was prolific, building a succession of faster and bigger boats and aircraft. These were being sold all over the world. His high-speed boats were first bought by the RAF Marine Branch as rescue launches. But his perseverance with the Royal Navy finally paid off. Hubert Scott Payne was constantly badgering the Admiralty to take an interest in the type of craft he was developing, with, with very little success. But he, he had a vision that the Admiralty needed, and certainly as the war approached, these fast attack craft, uh, motor torpedo boats, motor gun boats, uh, but certainly fast boats. And the Admiralty weren't greatly interested. And he, he was not treated with the kind of respect or consideration that perhaps he deserved at the time, because he had the vision and the Admiralty didn't. But he never ceased to pursue his cause for motor torpedo boats. But his perseverance with the Royal Navy finally paid off. In 1935, with the RAF ordering more high-speed launches, the Admiralty ordered its first motor torpedo boats. This is the commissioning ceremony of the first of them, MTB-01. The 64-foot boats were fitted with stern launch torpedoes, the original system which Scott Payne had continued to develop. 